Let's take a look at Huffman coding, which is a compression technique used to reduce the number of bits needed to send a message. It's based on the idea that the more common letters in the message should have fewer bits needed to represent them. And similarly, less common letters should require more bits to represent them. Let's use this phrase, Mississippi River. Now this one has 17 characters. If we were to use the common ASCII representation of each letter, we would require 8 bits each for a total of 136 bits to send this message. Let's see if we can do better. Start by writing down each of the letters that appear in the message. M, I, S, P, R, V, E, and the space, which I'll represent as a dash. Then tally up how many times each letter appears. One for M, five for I, four for S, and so forth. Next, sort these by their frequency of occurrence. I'm going to sort them with the greatest number on the left-hand side and the least number on the right-hand side. In order, that would be I5, S4, P2, R2, M1, V1, E1, and space 1. We're going to be building a tree out of this by merging together nodes and combining them into one. Start by looking for the two nodes with the lowest numbers. And we got four to choose from here, so it doesn't really matter which ones we look at. Let's do E and space. We're going to combine those together, and those become E space with a sum of two, because one plus one is two. Repeat, find the two nodes with the lowest numbers and merge them together. We'll do M and V. M and V combine to make a sum of two. And repeat again. Now we're going to find the two with the lowest numbers. There's four to choose from. Doesn't really matter which ones we choose. Let's do P and R. We'll merge those together and make P, R, four. And we just keep repeating. We've got two, two, four, four, and five. Let's do the two and two. This becomes M, V, E, space, four. Repeat again. Let's do P, R merged with M, V, E, space. And this is going to become P, R, M, V, E, space, with a total of eight. Now we've got five, four, and eight. We need to choose the two with the lowest numbers, so we'll choose five and four, and we'll merge those together. I, S, nine. Now we've got nine and eight. Merge those together. I, S, P, R, M, V, E, space, with a total of 17. A good double check is to make sure this number here, 17 at the very top, is equal to the total number of characters in our original, and also it equals the sum of all these numbers here on the left-hand side. The last thing we're going to do to the tree to complete the construction is to label the left and right-hand sides of each of the branches with a 0 and 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And that completes the construction of the tree. To find the binary encodings for each one of the letters, just start at the top of the tree and follow each one of the branches down to the letters. Here's the encoding for I. We start at the top branch, follow the zero down, and then follow the next zero down. So the encoding for I is zero, zero. To find S, start at the top, follow this branch down, and then follow this one down. This one is then zero, one. P is found by going to the right, and then to the left, and to the left. Its encoding is 100. Do the same thing for each of the other letters. Now look here. The letters with the greatest frequency have the shortest bit representations, and the letters with the lowest frequency have the longest bit representations. That's exactly what we wanted. We don't need this tree anymore. All we need are the letters and the bit representations. Now we can write out the bits for our message. We'll start with M. M is 1100. I is 00. zero. S is 01. S is 01 again. I is 00. Zero, zero. 01 for S. 01 for S. 00 zero, zero for I. P is 100. 100 zero, zero, zero again. 00 zero, zero for the I. Space is 1111. Keep doing this for the rest of the message. 
And there's our Huffman coded binary message for Mississippi River. If I've counted these upright, there are 46 bits in this message. That's a dramatic savings over the original 136 bits needed for the message. In fact, 46 bits is about 33% of the original one, leading us to a savings of close to 67% over the original message. That's pretty typical of English text. And it's all based on this simple idea that most languages have letters that are more common and letters that are less common. The more common letters should have shorter bit representations and the less common letters should have longer bit representations. This allows us to squeeze the most out of the text. Now here's something for you to do. Go back through this new bit string and try to find the original message. It's in there, I promise. You're going to need to use the dictionary we've built at the bottom of the screen. It's really all kind of neat how it works. As you go through the bit string, you're going to discover that there's no possible way to misinterpret this as anything other than Mississippi River. Thanks for watching.